So, good morning everyone. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. How are y'all doing? Somebody had asked about, why do you not show your face in, in some of your videos, but you say it's too dark to see? Well, can anybody see my face right now in the camera? I'm waving at you right now. So, that's, that's why it's just dark in here. I haven't left the bedroom yet. My, uh, this disease that I have, I can't just jump up in the mornings. After I wake up, I have to give it a little bit for my blood pressure to come up and everything. Um, it, I don't know what it is. It has something to do with it's taking longer for my body to you know, spin up and get awake and get energized. And if I just jump out of bed as soon as I wake up like normal people do, I fall flat on my face. And a couple times I've passed out. So I have to give it a little bit of time. And I figure, well, while I'm here and I'm waking up, I might as well do morning prayer. So... Now you know why I don't show my face sometimes, because it's just a big old black dot. Anyway, to the prayer. We're going to pray Psalm 27 this morning, an exuberant declaration of faith. And guys, there, Tim put up a video this morning, and this has actually been on my heart for a little bit. I've been th thinking about it. And we have brothers and sisters who are part of the body of Christ, who are part of the bride that are around the world that are suffering being killed being martyred you know i've had some people contend with me about the passages in the book of revelations about the people under the throne that have been martyred and they have to wait until some other their others of their brothers and sisters <coughs> have to die the same way and they're like well, what does that tell you the time frame it is well it's happening right now <laughs> It's happening right now in a bunch of countries. Iran, Iraq, Uzbekistan, uh, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Russia, Libya, S Saudi Arabia. I did a video on that months and months and months ago. Africa, uh, South America, I mean, it, America. Pe Christians are being persecuted and martyred in almost every single country in the world. It's, in some countries, it's a normal everyday thing. There was a country, where was it at? I think it was in Africa somewhere, where militiamen had go, gone in and were giving the people a bunch of grief. While they were doing that, other guys were inside of a church. They were in, in a church, there's probably 60 people in this church. Other people were in there, of their group, were pouring out drums of fuel all over the ground and all over the floor when those guys got done they chased everybody out and then they lit it on fire and i actually had done a presentation on this at my church and showed them the picture where the people the fire was so hot it burned their clothes off and so it was just their burnt bodies laying there on the ground guys our our brothers and sisters are being killed daily all around the world it's horrific it's graphic but it's the truth in our country, we're padded. We're protected from those things. We're insulated from what really goes on around the world and just how bad this world really is. From our standpoint, it doesn't look that bad. Go to another country and look at how bad it is. It's, it's horrible, horrible, horrible things. So we pray for our brothers and sisters because when they hurt, we hurt. You ever wondered why you just get depressed or get down for no reason? That's other members of the body are suffering and we feel that suffering other members of the body are feeling our suffering you know what we go through in our country is kind of unique in that we have direct demonic contact in this country and I've said this before but groups that are brought from uh, groups of, of Christians from other countries who suffer physical persecution daily they come over here um, on deliverance missions and stuff like that where they get them out of the country before they get killed and they, they say we don't like it here because you guys at least see the demons everywhere you guys are under serious demonic attack where in their country they're not it's just physical persecution Satan custom tailors his torture for the region that he's work, doing his work in and so for every Christian or for every group of Christians, it's different. 
And we got to pray for our brothers and sisters. We have to remember them. We have to think about them and, and add them to our prayers daily. And today we're going to add them to our prayer. Because they're part of us. We're part of them. We love them. They love us. Many of them watch our videos that we do on our channels. Because they can't get that in their country. There are people that are recording our videos. That are downloading them and sharing them. So they can see them in other countries. I know Africa is real big on that stuff. I've talked to a few of them last year. Got brothers and sisters in Africa. That... Everybody in Africa has a cell phone. They might not have running water or electricity, but they got a cell phone. And sometimes all they get is shared videos on Facebook. Or they're able just to barely get on YouTube and watch videos. Or somebody will have a computer and they'll download videos so they can watch them. So they can get the scripture. Because they don't have any churches where they're at. Uh, Europe. A lot of people from Europe watch our videos. Because there for a long time, 4,000 churches a month were closing down. No, I'm sorry, not a month, a year were closing down. Well, there's like, I think there's maybe a handful of Christian churches in Europe. Maybe. It's, it's really bad around the world. And for some people, all the scripture they get, all the doctrine they get, all the gospel they get, is off of this platform. It's off of Facebook. It's off of Twitter. So what we're doing is important and it's reaching around the world. What we're doing, or if you can, make sure you have captions turned on on your videos. Uh, that way other people can see it and be able to understand what you're saying. But it's all over the place. Our, our work that we're doing here is reaching out everywhere. There's a reason why we were called up. Now, in each of those countries, there's also people that are doing the same thing. They're, they're standing up and doing videos, or they're preaching in the streets. In Iran right now, there's a, a big group of women, Christian women, that are going out into the streets and preaching the gospel. And they know their, they know their, their chances of getting killed are high. Some of them have, were just killed here recently. They know that their their chance of torture is high. They also do it in Iraq. They do it everywhere. Pretty much any Middle Eastern country. So, so when you pray, and when you're praying for other people, make sure you pray for your other brothers and sisters. It's important. It's important for us to remember them, because we're all going to be in heaven together. It's not just our little group here in America. It's all over the world. Let's get into some prayer. Psalm 27, an exuberant declaration of faith. Father, we come before you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ to give you glory, to give you honor, to give you praise for the amazing things you're doing in the body today. Lord Jesus, you have been active. You are working with each and every one of us. The Holy Spirit within us is calling up all these amazing revelations and these amazing truths and You've been showing us that our time here is short. You've been showing us that we have very little time to get the gospel out there. That needs to be the focus, the gospel, the truth. What it takes to be saved. And you're, you're giving us that. And you're giving us a platform and a voice to spread that. Help us to stay focused on the truth, your truth. The message that needs to be delivered. The one you want delivered. And I and we pray that it reaches everybody. Help us stay focused on the gospel. Getting people saved. Helping people understand the truth. Coming out of legalism. Coming out of Calvinism. Help us to get them to the true understanding. Your understanding. Of how salvation works. And what you're looking for. Help us to pray. Well, help us to have strength to preach the gospel to anybody and everybody. Every chance we get, but help us also to pray for our brothers and sisters around the world who are doing the same thing in whatever fashion or capacity they can. 
in, in the same level of demonic attacks we suffer here, they suffer physical attacks. Deliver them, Father, from those physical attacks. Give them, if, you, if, if, you, if it's not your will to deliver them, give them peace and understanding through those attacks. That they know that what's happening to them is a blessing. That there's great reward for them suffering for you, Lord Jesus. Give us all strength. Give us all faith. Give us all power and authority over these evil effects and, and evil spirits that surround each and every one of us. They're doing everything they can to deceive us and drive us down. Much of the body is sick right now. With random colds that nobody can under, understand where they're coming from. Give us strength to... to push on through those to keep putting the gospel out there to keep putting the truth out there and to keep helping people come to a greater better understanding drawing closer to you for relationship Father this morning I'd like to pray Psalm 27 an exuberant declaration of faith the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked come, sorry, when the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, <clears throat> my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that I will seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And Father, we wait on you. Lord Jesus, we wait on you. We are doing everything we can and doing our best <clears throat> to keep your command of patience. To stay focused on the task you've given us. To stay focused on loving our brothers and sisters. Praying for them making intercession for them and blessing you and loving you and walking in your truth. Yes. Father, most of us scarcely know what's going on around the world unless somebody tells us what's going on. It's so hard to get any information. But no matter what our path is, no matter where we're being led, you are guiding us. You are protecting us. You are watching over us. You are giving us what we need. Spiritual food. Spiritual guidance. When it's appropriate. Keep doing that. Keep strengthening us. Keep us focused on what's important. On you. And our eyes on the skies looking for you. Waiting for that day when we may, may be redeemed. And that the evil that has befallen this earth and be taken away. We love you, Father. We love you, Lord Jesus. And we give thanks to you. 
In your name, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for morning prayer. Remember your brothers and sisters. Even those who got the gospel wrong, they still need your prayer. But at some point, we do have to leave it in the Lord's hands. Those that are evil, that are coming against God, they need our prayer. But at some point, we turn away and leave it in God's hands. But our brothers and sisters around the world being persecuted, they always need our prayer. We need to pray for each other. We need to pray for them. And we need, we need to remember that in, that in Christ we are all the same. No black or white, no Jew or Greek, no male or female. We are all the same. I love you guys. I bless you all in Jesus' name. And I will see you in the next video.